What's up guys, it's Ivan, and on this channel, I provide graduate school life and advice. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. This week is the week prior to my start of my second year of my PhD program at the University of California, San Diego. So I am planning to organize my life and just kind of get some structure before I start my second year. Today is Monday and what I want to do first is I want to work on some client work. If you don't already know, I do offer a statement of purpose review service on Fiverr which you can find in the description down below or in the links up above where you can find my Instagram accounts as well. But I charge $25 to review your statement of purpose. I provide detailed feedback for every paragraph that you provide on that document. And I try my best to give you the best advice that will get you into your dream school. So if you want me to review your statement of purpose, definitely check out that link. And I um, look forward to working with you. I'm going to head over to campus right now because I'm going to work on some client documents, but I also want to kind of structure my um, academic quarter, which is the fall quarter, because I do have my classes already and um, I'm enrolled in my classes, which I'm taking three to three this quarter. And so I want to make sure that I create a Google, either Google Calendar or an Outlook Calendar or some type of structure that I want to visualize because I also have to send out emails to my TA position as well as my graduate student research position. That way they're able to tell me or that way we're able to coordinate what days I'm gonna be working with those two different jobs. So let's get going to campus. All right, you guys, so I got here to um, the little station I'm going to be working at. I'm going to work on the client documents. It smells really good. I can smell the um, food that's being cooked. I'm by the, I think, the student center, which you can buy. Um, obviously, food is a food court, but it smells really good, which I'm planning to get food later on today. But let me get going with the client documents. All right, you guys, so I have to move locations because my laptop is actually dying. So right now I'm actually working on the YouTube video that I'm going to post soon. Um, but I need to go find an outlet because my computer is at like 0% now. So let me go find that. I'm still getting used to campus. So honestly, I don't even know where to go. But hopefully I find a spot. You guys, so I took, I think like a 30 minute to an hour break. I was catching up on some YouTube videos um, and honestly that little hammock thing that I was on was pretty um, comfortable so I kind of took like a little small little nap but now I'm going to head to the library to get these documents finished and edited with feedback for my clients um, because I want to get that done today and I still have other things on my to-do list for today that I really need to get to because I have to figure out my internet situation back at my apartment it's not working so i need a new router so i need to call the um the freaking internet company to get me a new router and then i need to figure out the whole electricity situation as well so i'm going to head over to the library get these documents finished and then i'm going to head home and try to do the apartment try to finish the apartment tasks Uh, all of my be comfortable with sins from his agenda. Uh, be hating because 
I've been ballin' and they gotta ride the bench again. Ain't gotta wonder, I know when she callin' that she tryna ride that dick again. Keep it a C no, cause it's D-League, they could be more. I brought the A game, grippin' them B cups, ride the seashore. Fillin' up my rubber band, 100 band, I ain't need that. Big dog, no small bark, I'm cool on your feedback. Yeah, ain't sweet, ain't funny. Look, it's blue tests on my hundreds. Life been going how I want it. Yeah. What's up guys, so I finally made it back to my apartment from campus. I do have to walk to my apartment, to and from the apartment and the campus because it's a, it's a short walk away. It's about like 15 minute walk, but honestly it's freaking hot and humid outside. So it makes it twice as difficult just to walk home. So as you can tell, I'm really exhausted right now. It's been a long day. I, I think I spent like about eight hours on campus just doing different tasks that um, were on my to-do list. I did not get, get through all my tasks. But I'm hoping to roll those over until tomorrow so I can just finish up all these miscellaneous small little tasks that I need to do before I start school on Monday. I wanted to sit down and talk to you all about the tasks that I'm doing because as a graduate student in the United States, you're going to have to do some of these tasks prior to either enrolling or starting classes at your institution. So one of them is having um, vaccinations that the government really and the institution requires. So for example, I have to submit my vaccination record to the institution as well as have an up-to-date tuberculosis um, test done. And so mine already expired, so on Thursday I have an appointment with the UC San Diego Medical Center to get that done, that way they lift that hold for my account. If you don't provide these two different documentations, you will have a hold on your account, which means you cannot enroll in classes. I had to email them back and forth so they can allow me to enroll in classes because I was out of state and I wanted to get my TB test done on campus because I do have insurance through the school. And so I wanted to utilize that insurance um, instead of me having to go to a different provider and having to deal with all this paperwork just for one test. So I waited last minute um, until I got here on campus to do the TB test. Some other tasks that I need to do are get my student ID card because of the whole COVID situation. I did have to make an appointment, which again, I have to go on Thursday to pick up my student ID. Um, and that's something else that's just like miscell miscellaneous. I also have to send emails out to my, um, to the professor that I'm going to be TAing for, as well as the graduate student researcher position that I have, and I have to email the supervisor to provide them with my schedule for the next fall. So that's something else I have to do actually tomorrow because I do not have internet at this apartment yet and that's another part of my task. I have to call the internet provider to get the internet, internet set up and I wasn't able to do that today because I was focused on some other tasks so I'm hoping to get that done tomorrow. I went to this new restaurant that I've never been to before called Noodles and Company so I bought um, I think it's, um, I bought cauliflower no gnocchi with rosa sauce. Hopefully it's good. It looks good. It smells good. Uh, I've never been to this place it's called Noodles and Company, so I'll give you a rating after I eat it. But I'm starving. I haven't eaten since noon, and I'm going to grub on this, and then I'm also going to be watching some YouTube videos just to pass some time, but um, I'm going to get to eating my noodles here. The cauliflower and yoki was all right. I don't think I would go back to Noodles and Company to buy food again, but it did the trick um, for tonight. I'm ho I'm planning to buy groceries tomorrow because I need to start making food because it is getting expensive eating out and I'm on that grad school budget. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I don't have much going on. I'm gonna obviously stay home. I'm gonna work on one more client document and then make my grocery list so I can go early in the morning tomorrow because I do have another busy day tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions about graduate school life and advice, and I will see you in the next video.